In this video, I'm going to prove the general formula for finding the area of a hexagon. In the previous video, I took a particular case where the side was, each side was a 5 centimeters. Here, if you want to make a general formula, uh, how would you do that? So, in the, uh, to find the, to find the area of a hexagon, what we can do is, if you can find the area of one triangle, this hexagon can be split into six equilateral triangles. Okay, I'll draw one equilateral triangle just to give you, I explained in the previous video how it's an equilateral triangle. So let us say this is somewhat the, say this is the center, or this is a point which is equidistant from all the vertices. You've got six vertices, suppose let us name this as hexagon A, B, C, D, E, and F. So we can say this is say the center, or you can say the point O is equidistant from all the six vertices. Now, to find the interior angle, okay, so there's a very neat formula to find the sum of interior angle of any polygon. So let me write you that formula. Sum of interior angles of any polygon. Sum of interior angles of any polygon. Polygon stands for a closed figure. And here it's a hexagon. So polygon can be, triangle is a polygon, okay, triangle, a rectangle, square, uh, quadrilateral, all are polygons. So the formula is, the gen general formula is uh, n minus 2 times 180, okay, where n is the number of sides. This is a neat formula, you can uh, throw this in different ways, you can refer to this I have used uh, in one of my videos I have proved this uh, so you can refer that or in your books you can refer this formula so some of interior angles this is say the interior angle say this is angle a the sum of if this is a this is also a and so on okay so we can say uh, a in this case let me change color a is n minus 2. What is n? n is the number of sides. The number of sides is 6. So 6 minus 2 times 180, which is 4 times 180. So, oh, sorry, not a, you can say 6a. 6a, you got the sum. Okay, so 6a is 720. So if you divide 720, so if you divide both sides by 6, A is 120 degree. So each of this angle is 120. So if this is 120, and we can say, okay, I'll use that later. So I can I say that this is 60, and so this is 60, and as these two sides are equal, okay, we can say this and this are also, this angle and this angle will also be, 60. I hope you understand. Okay. I have proved this in the previous video. So that's not my focus. So this is, and you can also uh, draw, suppose to explain this again, suppose if you draw one more triangle, just to explain, if you draw one more triangle, uh, this is again 60 degree. Okay. This is 60 and this is also 60. And it does make sense because 60 plus 60 is 120, which is your A or this angle. So I want to prove that A, first I'll find, if we can find the area of one triangle, and then by multiply by 6, we can find the area of the hexagon. Okay, so let me draw a rough sketch of an equilateral triangle. So this is, okay, so this is my equilateral triangle. Mm, this is not looking neat, so let me draw a better. So I use this tool. So this is my equilateral triangle. This, so here again, I missed out this. So as it's an equiangular triangle, 
all the sides are also equal. So if this is x, I can say this is also x, and this is also x. So basically, this is I'm I'm so imagine this I'm pulling this triangle out. O E D is the triangle that I've pulled out from the hexagon. So all the angles are 60, and all the sides are x. Okay, so this is this is x, this is x, and this is x. If you want to find the area of a triangle, we know the base and we need to find the height. So let me drop a perpendicular. So let me remove the angles. Angles are annoying here. Okay, so let me drop a perpendicular from O on O on E D. Yeah. Okay, so let me drag this a little. I think this is fine. So this is a right angle triangle. Okay, so I know this angle is 60 degree. Okay, I don't need this, of course, 30. So I want to find the hypotenuse. So I can use so. So can I say sine, sine 60 is opposite, opposite is hypotenuse over x. Okay, and sine 60, I have explained in the last video, sine 60 is root 3 over 2, which is 0.866 something, is equal to h over x, which implies if you make h the subject, root 3 x over 2 is equal to h. So this is your, the height of the triangle. So we can say area of the triangle, area of the triangle is half times base, base is x, and your height is root 3 over 2 x. Okay, so we can say we simplify this, this is root 3 over 4 x squared is the area of the triangle. Okay, therefore area of the hexagon, area of hexagon is 6 times root 3 over 4 x squared and this can be simplified uh, this is nothing but 6 root 3 x squared over 4 and 6 over 4 is same as 3 over 2 so root 3 3 root 3 x squared over 2 is the general formula of area of a hexagon. So let's use this. So in the previous video I showed you that the area of a hexagon of say five centimeters was this number 64.95. So let's use that con to this formula to confirm whether the formula is right. So we got a hexagon. So let me draw the hexagon once again, so this is my hexagon of say five centimeters. Okay, so your x, this is your x. Okay, so your area using this formula of hexagon, so I'll draw a hexagon like this, is equal to three, uh, sorry, so this is three, root 3 times 25 over 2 and that's what we got 25 times 3 is 75 root 3 over 2 centimeters squared so let us check that so in the previous video this is what we got 75 root 3 over 2 centimeter squared and that's what we got even using uh, yeah even using this formula Okay, that is 75 root 3 over 2 centimeters squared. See you in the next video.